Hey friends, Nibs again. Wanted to get out and uh, do another video for you guys. Uh, hot Saturday afternoon. I uh, was over at the church doing some work earlier today. Boy, it's hot. It's too hot to be doing. I was, <laughs> I was doing brick work out on the uh, out on our patio. We got a couple of spots where it was sinking in, so I had to pick up the bricks and uh, put some more fill underneath them and uh, replace them again. Um, this was uh, it was set on tamped tamped uh, stone. Uh, it was supposed to not not sink in, but uh, apparently that's not the way it's working. But anyway, it looks good now. So um, I did pick up another uh, another new one. Looks like it's the uh, the month for for savages, <clears throat> I guess. Um, so, uh, yeah, Savage Sporters, Savage, uh, NRA matches, uh, <clears throat> this is like the third Sporter I've bought this month, uh, so this one here is a, uh, from what I can tell, it appears to be a real early one, um, I, I doesn't have any model information on it, but, uh, from what I can tell, um, it has uh, this uh, older magazine, the newer magazines that looked like this that were for, for the model NRA, NRA Match 19 and the 23A actually did say uh, those model names on there. And this one's just got, and I'll put a picture of it up, it's a little rusty, but uh, you can see it's just, it just says uh, 22 short, long, and long rifle. Savage Arms Corporation patent, April 29th, 1908. So, um, and uh, on the barrel here, uh, the the early, the newest patent num uh, date is 1917. So, the other ones I have at home that are, I, I think are newer um, do have uh, patent dates from like the 20s, early 20s on them. So, I do believe this one is a. Uh, <clears throat> I've, re I've read where they called it a pre-23A. Well, they didn't come out with the 23A until I think 23, so um, I think this one was, you know, probably an earlier version. I haven't really been able to find a whole lot of information uh, directly about it, but um, so it does have, uh, it has been drilled and tapped, unfortunately, but uh, it is what it is. It's still a pretty cool gun. Um, has an, uh, an older weaver not period correct for this gun uh, it's probably about 20 20 some years newer um, than the gun but uh, it's still a pretty cool probably uh, late 40s maybe 30 year old more more like 30 35 25 30 years older than the gun um, but it's a it's a weaver uh, K uh, 2.5 and uh, it has a uh, post reticle in it, which is pretty cool. I like those. Those are pretty neat. Um, has some nice uh, old Weaver uh, mounts that are uh, actually designed to uh, be drilled and tapped out right onto the receiver. Um, I took it off. It's a pretty pretty clean job, so at least uh, at least it was done right. Um, but uh, another thing, uh, this one has uh, this one. Also has the uh, double uh, firing pin, um, which does lend itself a lot for reliability on a, an old 22. So, you know, again, going back to uh, another video I did uh, on the uh, other uh, NRA match. I've got two NRA matches. One's a, it seems to be a newer one. It's got the uh, round uh, single uh, firing pin hole. And then the other one, NRA match. I, I assume it's an NRA match. It's not ma again. That one's not marked with a model name, number, but I believe it's a newer one, <clears throat> um, or an older one, excuse me. Um, and that one also has this uh, this style of bolt with the uh, concave uh, trigger knob or a bolt, bolt knob, and uh, then the uh, the double firing pin. So. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Uh, it uh, has all the uh, other all the other markings on it. it has the uh, uh, 
savage logo with the uh, the uh, Indian chief head uh, with a rifle behind him and then savage quality. Um, the newer ones just had the oval with the SVG in it. Um, that's so. A few of the things that I'm noticing between all of these guns uh, that uh, kind of lead me to believe that you know one's older than the other and stuff. And uh, I know several people posted up a link to a page that has some information on it but it really doesn't delve into these these older ones to any great extent so if anybody's got any information about the the older ones and you know what how, any way to put a date on them at all um, this one does have a serial number on the back of the receiver like the other old NRA match one that I have uh, looks like about a 16,000 uh, serial number range Yeah, we'd like to put a uh, we'd like to like to put a date on it. Um, you know, at least a year. Uh, that would be kind of neat. Um, I got to take this apart, and uh, the uh, magazine hold spring is bent back just a little bit too far, and it uh, catches the magazine if you don't get it in there just right. There it goes. So needs a little tweaking, um, but uh, no big deal. It's a cool little gun. Um, I, uh, I did shoot a target off off camera, and uh, I'll show you that one right now. Hey friends, here's my uh, target for my new Savage Sporter that I just got. Um, I was just sight sighting it in at 25 yards. This is uh, shot number one, two, three, and then uh, this is three shots um, off a of bench rest with uh, Elay Match. Uh, ammunition so three shots basically in one hole um, I'll take that all right back to the video so um, as you can see by that target uh, it's a, it's a got the real good potential like those other ones that I have as well uh, basically shooting three shots uh, into to one you know enlarged hole there so and it's only 25 yards, but uh, um, just uh, just testing it out here. So eventually, I'll get it out and do 50. And if it does good at 50, I'll try it at 100. But uh, <clears throat> what I uh, what I also brought out and I wanted to show you guys, just kind of kind of cool. I think it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Is uh, um, I've got this set of uh, and. After I'm done shooting, I'll uh, I'll actually post a video of me shooting those. Uh, they're uh, one I think they they're called one fifth scale uh, silhouette targets. Um, they uh, they have some rams, which are the largest ones, and then there's some turkeys and some pigs that have about the equal uh, you know square foot footage, so to speak. Uh, overall and then there's little tiny chickens so those ones are really tough to hit um, again I'm just shooting this at 25 yards uh, not super uh, you know super challenging but uh, it uh, so far it's uh, it's not let me down to every one of them so I got six shots in the gun I got six silhouettes standing up out there so let's see if I can knock them all down Start with the easy ones first. How about that? Got the ram in my sight here. All right, ram's down. Second ram's down. So one thing I did, uh, one thing I am noticing with these older ones, they are cock on close. And that makes it a little more, a little more difficult to, uh, you know, work the action uh, smoothly. But uh, this one has a nice trigger. All right, one turkey down. I had two rams, two turkeys, one pig, and one chicken. Second turkey down. Now I'll go to the pig. The pig, you know, the pig is shorter, but he's 
elongated, so where the turkey is standing upright. So I think they're about the same as far as square inches of uh, steel, but uh, just two different directions that the steel stretches out. All right, pig is down. All right, one shot to go, one tiny little chicken. All righty. And I got him. All right, so let me uh, give you a close-up on this guy here. Um, lighting's not as great today. Got here a little earlier, so the sun's not. Sun's outside, so. But it is a pretty cool old gun. Um, I like these uh, with the, they this little schnabel uh, foretip here, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this one, so one thing I did read was uh, the real, real early ones would have a kind of a squared off uh, ejection port, which uh, none of mine do. Mine are all this oval shaped one. So uh, I don't have one of the, the most early ones, so to speak, but uh, I'm not too awful worried about that. But um, so that, that weaver, that little weaver's nice and clear. Um, I believe. It, this is one of the earlier editions. I know that the very first ones, like the first year, I think came out in 47, um, didn't have caps for the, uh, the adjustments. But then after uh, 47, they had caps on them. But this one does say uh, patent pending on them. Most of the K series ones uh, have patent numbers and all that on them. So um, I would assume that this one is still a real early one, probably 48 or something like that. Um, but uh, <clears throat> again, this uh, firing pin is strikes the back of the bullet twice, which uh, back in the uh, you know the 20s and the teens, uh, the reliability of 22 long rifle ammunition really wasn't there yet, and it was, uh, you know, kind of a, a necessary thing to be able to strike it in multiple places. Uh, uh, it seems like a great idea anyway. Um, but the Savage is the only one that I know of that, that's done that. So if anybody knows any more about that, uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, anyway, um, don't want to make this too awful long, but uh, I wanted to show you this one. Just uh, happened to uh, walk into the uh, one of the local shops here, and they had this one uh, they just taken in on consignment, and uh, it was a decent price, so I grabbed it up. Um, there's a couple little shops right there. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, right in Syracuse. Um, they're, they're right around the corner from each other too. So, um, but uh, you got uh, Butternut Sports Shop. It's on Lodi. Um, that place is like a museum. Uh, hopefully I'm going to move the museum to my house, but uh, um, I'm doing a good job of buying all their old guns. But uh, they've got some really awesome stuff in there. Um, and then a another great shop just around the corner, like I said, on, on Burnett. Give it a, give it a look. But uh, you've got uh, uh, Raylan's um, sports shop there. So they've got a lot of great guns in there too. Um, but... Uh, and they'll take good care of you in there too. So, anyway, if you uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up, um, and uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, also share with your friends. Uh, I'd like to continue this growing. It's been growing nice, and I'd like to keep it going. Um, but yeah, share with your friends. Um, and down in the description, I've got some links for my uh, collectors page uh, for for Facebook and MeWe, uh, also called Walnut and Steel. Um, and we talk about great old stuff like this all the time. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go set them back up and shoot some more. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.